So we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in fly paper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 253 pounds. Fighting out of Madrid, Spain, the Gentleman. And now he his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Tom Duffy. And when the action begins, I left me in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here in the heavyweight division. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. He's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Caught that kick there. Went for the inside leg kick. Circling to his right. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice oh. leg kick land. Two's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big left hook there. Hook shot lands. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, that kick is good by Duffy. Yeah, he mixed it all up. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Takedown defense holds up. Duffy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. That was a thudding leg kick. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. It takes a lot of practice to make a jab look that easy. Lands flush again. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! Massive kick to the head. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah? Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Tries to work it into a takedown. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish the fight. Oh, straight right. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged? Max, nice job to play. stick with it there to complete the takedown. Yeah, he's a half guard here. Thought he's going to attack the triangle choke here. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, wow. That happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow. What a transition. Back and forth we go. And he caught the kick. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Out there, killer. Wow, your striking is on a whole nother level. I want you to keep doing that. Your jab is beautiful. Keep that in his face. You ready to fight? Ready. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice hook lands. Big right hand there. Oh! He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, big leg. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit, oh! he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Hurting for certain, the finish could come at any time. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? All combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate 
when he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch lands through the middle. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, straight right. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbos, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks. Oh, oh, oh. 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 oh, big left hook there. Back to the feet. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation, he's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Back to the feet now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and... Oh! oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. It's messed up really bad. Look at him top of the Top of the for him. Plus right hand is true. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. And he's out. Work, 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 work. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Whiffs on that offering. Nice head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, wow! Head kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the horn mercifully, I think, for the fighters, signifying the end of the round and what a five minutes it was. Both fighters got knockdowns there. We'll see who can adjust here in the next round. Mercifully for the fighters, not, not so, so much for, for us. Fans, yeah. No, we love it. The fans love what we're seeing in the octagon right now. Two guys willing to just lay it all out on the line, and you see them both having tremendous success in the stand-up. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man.
So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 12 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the gentleman. Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO. I'm a sharpshooter, would you ever let a pretty thug cut from your cheek like Hamora? Yeah. I made him feel light and limber, got a few new rings on my fingers, and I covered it up in